Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, we're gonna wrap up the drywalling in the barn part of the tiny house. Okay, so, I'm gonna have to take down all this temporary wiring Oh, actually, the heat is connected to this as well. Ah, I don't need to mess with that for a little bit. It's minus eight out right now, and this little heater is having a hard time keeping up as it is. But we should be able to deal with that later. I got to get this ladder out of here, the wires... And the first thing I'm going to do is trim that foam flush. Yeah, the insulation that I'm putting in these walls is basically just for sound insulation. But while I'm doing this construction, it's going to come in real handy for normal insulation. Because, like I said, it's super cold out. I haven't been in here yet. This is pretty cool. Magnetic. You just walk right through and it seals up right behind you. That's helping a lot with the cold weather. Yeah, it's very cold out here. Not even enough heat to melt the stuff off of the skylights. Yeah, you can see your breath out here. Not sure if you'll be able to see that. So. Let's get started by trimming that foam. I'll get all this stuff off the wall and eventually I need to get the drywall on there. Hopefully I can get all of this done today. It's gonna be very putsy because all of the insulation that's going into that wall is cutoffs from previous insulating. So it's gonna be pieced in there. Pieces are gonna fall out here and there. I just need to get it in there, wedged in there, and then we'll cut the drywall and get the drywall in there. The drywall is going to be a little bit complicated as well. What do we have on this wall? Well, we just have the two. We have the thermostat and that outlet. But on this wall, we have an outlet, the sub panel, and this opening right here for the electronics. That's going to be a built-in cabinet at some point. And once we put drywall on this, I'm not going to be able to have this clamp up here holding the router. Ah, difficult, difficult. All right, we'll deal with that when we come to it. For now, let's just get this wall cleared off.
Okay, we got this wall completely insulated. My original plan was to get this insulated and then drywall this and then move stuff over here and do the same on that wall. But because it's so darn cold out, the high temperature for today is going to be minus two and it's gonna be 14 below again tonight. So what I'm thinking of doing is just finishing this video tomorrow. It's getting late already. I got a late start. I'm thinking I'll insulate this part too. Just move the stuff out of the way, get that insulated, have this whole thing insulated, and then come back tomorrow and do the drywall. There's four pieces of drywall. We got a big one here, big one there, one going across the top there, and then one in that little opening in the passageway up there. Yeah, that's a much better plan. There's no way I can get this whole thing done today, and because of that, might as well have this insulated so that it stays a bit warmer out here tonight. It's the next day, and the insulation is completely done. It got to, I think it was minus 11 or minus 12 last night. The forecast was minus 14. Right now, it's minus 5 out there, and the high today is 0, but it's not going to get to that until like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, right before dark and then the temperature drops again and it's pretty nice in here it's going to be a lot nicer once we have insulation in that part but it is what it is so my drywall i'm going to start right here and once i get that cut like i said yesterday we only have two openings in this but i'm going to have to do a lot of marking for the locations of the screws and I want to keep screws out of this area right here completely. And what I'll do is screw it here and up in here. And that's because we got the hardware for the stairway going through there later on. And I don't want to hit drywall screws. So, just got to jog things around a little bit. Got it nice and clean in here get a sheet of drywall onto the horses and I'm going to take my time and get this right. Okay, I got this thing laid out and it's ready to cut. I hope to heck I have all of my holes in the right place. I only have these two sheets of drywall left and I really need to get this covered today. So this is the door opening right here, thermostat and electrical. What I need to do with that electrical is unplug the stuff that's there and then I pull it out and kind of tip it forward so that it has a smaller profile. Then I can slip the drywall right over it. We got the magnet marked right there. This is where I would need to stop. So, you know, it'll probably get a screw right there. And this upper area, these lines are all right in the center of a stud. And I always mark the top plates just like this. This is three inches. I need to put the screws anywhere inside of here. This right here is the stopping point, which is right around here. There's plenty of screws in here. I don't need to go all the way up. Remember, we got a bunch of wires in here, and I'm going to need to screw my ladder hardware in right here. I have that all mapped out, but if I get a bunch of screws in here, I'm not worried about the drywall screws hitting the wires they can't make it all the way through to the wires. I'm worried about all of the hardware in here. We got pocket screws and all kinds of stuff going in here. And I don't want that hardware to hit hardware that's already in there, if you know what I mean. So when it comes time to put the ladder in, I want to be able to put my hardware in without hitting anything. And 
this whole area right here is above the door and we got wires back there but the drywall screws aren't going to make it through this board right here they can't they're not long enough so we're not going to hit anything above the door right here okay let's get this stuff cut out and then we'll get her in place okay we are ready to rock everything's done on the drywall we got a screw in the driver screws right there got some shims on there this is going to be a quarter inch up off the floor what i got to do is go around and make sure all of these old staples are pounded in there's a bunch of them that are a little bit proud and make sure that there's no fiberglass onto a stud where it's going to cause a little bulge so let me go over this real quick then i'm just going to turn off this circuit all of the electricity that i'm using is coming off this circuit this is the lights and we have the charger and the heater and then pull that outlet out and tip it like i said and just get a couple screws in it if i did the holes correctly get a couple screws in it and then put the outlet back in and we can turn everything back on again <sighs> all right hopefully you can see what's going on with the lights out it's a sunny day and we got a couple windows so you should be able to see it these staples are from the insulation i put in this wall last summer when it was up to like nearly 100 degrees the addition wasn't even built at that time but that was temporary insulation and this stuff is permanent and again this is just sound insulation but it's helping out a lot right now with the thermal okay just tuck that stuff in i should mention that it's insanely hard to tip up panels here because i have a quarter inch clearance at the top and bottom but there's so much stuff in the way we'll move that real quick because i was getting hung up on those but what i'll do is take the light off and yeah get all this stuff out of the way okay here we go Okay, I got this sheet in and I played around with this for a while. It was kind of difficult to get in because I was trying to get this quarter inch gap like I have at the bottom all the way along the edge, but then the boxes weren't fitting. Problem is, this wall is a quarter inch out of plumb, so it goes from quarter inch to a half inch up here. I didn't know that before I started, but there's no way I was going to be able to measure how out of plumb this was. I could have scribed it, but just way too much work for what this is. I'll just fill that in and it'll be fine. So it's off a hair here. I got to trim this a little bit. And this was a measuring error. 
I shouldn't have left that. Well, actually, no, yeah, this is a, a measuring error. That should be right here, but I'll be able to fix that as well. I hate to have to fix stuff, but it's nice to have drywall on the wall, and I will be able to get it fixed up. So let's keep going, get this screwed the rest of the way in, and hope I do better on this one. Okay, I got panel number two all laid out, got the screw lines drawn in, and this one has two big openings. What I'm gonna do, I have to cut out the one for the sub panel, but for this upper one, I'm just gonna cut out this little box here, and that'll clear this electrical box here, but I'm gonna score where it gets cut out for the full opening and I'll cut that out once the panel's up. If I cut both of these big openings out, we just got this little bit right here and if I bump something while I'm putting it up there, I could easily crack this thing in half. And we got our outlet right here. That should be it. Let me get these openings cut out and we'll get this one in there too. Kind of running out of time, so I gotta hurry this up. pieces of drywall no four pieces one two three four so tomorrow I'm gonna have to come out here and fill the nail holes I am completely out of time for today I did get the corners back filled I don't know if you need to do that or not but I always do if I have a decent enough gap this gets drywall going through this opening as well and then it gets metal corner bead on here. So once I get the drywall in the opening, like right here, there was a gap. I backfilled this a little bit, but that gap, that's gonna all get covered by the corner bead. This right here, where it's overhanging, I'll need to trim that off, but that's gonna be pretty darn easy. Everything fits pretty darn good like this box here the cover has a spring mechanism so that'll adjust to however the wall is and this opening right here i'll be putting a frame around that so i just got to trim it flush a little bit right here i'll need to cover up the router and stuff like that though yeah looking real good got drywall in the whole place and now I need to finish that drywall. I got work to do on all of this other stuff too. So I'll get this caught up and then do a little work over here, do a little work over here. And I'm gonna guess probably three days and this will be done. I'm also gonna be working over in the wood shop, putting the plywood walls up. So make sure you're watching the videos on Trapdoor Woodworks as well. So, we have tons of videos coming up, and if you want to see them, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, 
it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.